Welcome back to Skyrim Adventures. We are here, um, just past the bridge from Dragon Bridge, <laughs> uh, on our way to Morthal. Last episode uh, ended in an interesting fashion with a dragon fight. And we also got our butts whooped by, I don't know if you can see him from here, but there's a, I think it's a necromancer or something over there, a black mage. Um, who's apparently a lightning specialist and he just destroyed us so we had to load and um, he even made the dragon run away it was pretty funny actually um, but then we beat the dragon uh, we got its soul and Lydia got a new helmet that I had forgotten to give her also last episode our, maybe this happened before but at some point we got diseased so we're feeling a little apathetic it's a mild disease but I'd like to get that cured as soon as possible, so we want to try to get to town and get some more rest. Just really want to get to Morthal. I don't know where my horse went. Allie probably got spooked by that dragon. Who knows where she is now? Oh, there she is. Good. I was afraid. Oh, and we wanted to... The reason we stopped it to begin with was because we were trying to get some dinner. And I'm seeing him over there now. Oh, we spooked him! Shoot! I'm never gonna catch him now. Darn. Oh, there's another one. Okay, let's be more careful this time. That should do it. Gotcha. One more. One more. Oh, no! Oh, come on. It's bleeding. Come on. No, I mean too high. Oh, I got it. Oof. Oh, this is by that uh, carriage we ran by earlier. Oh, this is the other road that would lead to the road to Morthal. Guess we ended up coming this way anyway. All right, so let's open this guy up. Some hide and venison. Good. <laughs> Lydia looks comical with that hat. I need to get her a new helmet. Actually, I'd like to get her some new gear in general. Actually, I'd like to get myself some new gear. Having the fur is really great for uh, when it gets cold, but it's definitely not the greatest armor against uh, anything. So I'd love to get uh, myself some superior gear. Still got some horse haunch too, that's good. Oh, mud crab. Saw a mud crab the other day. Um, let's see, let's kill this thing, because I don't like mud crabs. Got nasty pincers. Ah, oh, I see. They pinch, and it hurts. Stop it. <laughs> what do you think? I'm crazy. I'll take that. Um, feeling a little peckish, but that's alright. Let's keep moving. Not sure what time it is actually. Is it midday? We slept in today because we weren't feeling well. Still aren't, actually. So here's the road to Morthal. Let us journey it. I'm not sure what to expect. Uh, at some point we should be crossing a bridge. And after we cross the bridge we need to be on a... Um, we, we will be getting closer to Morthal. The bridge crosses over River Hyal, I think? It's hard to read. Oh, what's that? A dog? Where'd it go? There was a dog on the road and just ran off somewhere. There's a house right here. Huh. Did the ro dog run in there? Seems like it could be a trap. Alright, Lydia. Come on, let's take a look. I'm intrigued by this. I know we're supposed to be going to Morthal, but... There's 
just not sure um, what to expect in here. I'm going to quick save. Miko Shack. Oh. Is it aggressive? Looks like it's laying down. Doesn't seem like an aggressive behavior. Somebody probably right around the corner though, huh? Somebody sleeping on the bed. Oh, it's a dead body. Is this a trap of some sort? Lydia, keep uh keep an eye out. It's a dead Nord and a dog. Oh, you're Miko. This is your shack? Okay. Oh, what what was that option it had? What's wrong, boy? Do you want to come with me? Huh. Oh, a gourd. Don't mind if I take that. Although, I don't know how long it's been sitting there. Oh. I Dance in Fire, Volume 6. Yeah, I think I'm going to sell that gourd. Uh, Speechcraft increased. Good. We're going to read this later. Search that barrel. Nothing good. Yeah, the other food is stale, so I'm not going to eat that gourd. Shoot. End table. Oh, there's a book right there. Some gold. I'm sure Miko won't mind. Journal. Well, after all my years living in, uh, in these woods, it looks like the rock join will finally be the end of me. I guess that's fine. All my friends are long dead. The only one left is poor Miko. He was always a loyal companion, and I know he'll be able to take care of himself. I hope someday I'll see him again. Huh. i take this. So you... the rock joint got you, huh? I hope that's not what I have. Let's take a look. Well... It's not doing him any good. I know it's a horrible thing to do, but... I guess you're all alone now, huh? Here. Let me give you some food. Um. All right. Guess I'll give him my venison. Oh, I got salmon meat. Rabbit haunch. I really want to keep my venison. <laughs> um, have some salmon meat. There you go, boy. You don't want to eat? I guess you're sad about your owner, huh? I don't blame you. It really does look like you're all alone out here. Rabbit. Garlic. I'll take the garlic. Well, do you want to come with me? Is that something you'd like? You can follow me if you want. I'm not sure he wants to though. He looks pretty, pretty much like this is his home. That's his. That's Miko's shack after all. Hmm. That's kind of a sad story. I was expecting a, a trap or something, but it looks like I got um. Just a sad little story. Oh, he's coming! Oh! Miko, huh? So you do want to come with me? I didn't think you would. Does he really? <laughs> he's totally coming with me! Huh! That's pretty cool! Come on, Miko! Alright, we got ourselves a dog, uh, uh, Lydia. It's pretty cool, huh? Let's do a quick save. Um, looks like there's a fort up ahead. Now, we haven't passed the, um, bridge on the road over the Hyal River yet. So, I'm thinking we're not close to Morthal yet. So, looks like we're gonna have to pass this fort. These places seem to be crawling with bandits. Usually. Oh, there's somebody up there. Looking at me. Let's look back, shall we? 
Looks like a mage. Whoa. What are those? Are those skeletons? Those archers? Alright, we're gonna try this. Oh, they spotted me. Oh, I guess they didn't. Hey, we forgot to make Miko. Can we... Miko, can we mess with him? I don't want him to die. I feel really bad. Oh, great. We can make him important. Let's do that. Okay. Because I got a feeling these guys are going to be... Strong. Let's see. Imperial Longbow. I don't know if I can get them. They're wiggling around a lot. Oh, I got him. Apprentice Necromancer. Whoa! There's a skeleton. Okay, I'm gonna charge the skeletons. Maybe I should focus on the Necromancer. I do have magical resistance, so... Oh! It's too quick. Skeletons would be weak at least. Alright, now for the necromancer. Let me heal myself up before we head up there. Whoa, did he just drop down? Okay, let's try flames. And we'll go with a sword as well. Gotcha. You weren't so tough from up close, huh? Necromancer robes. Those are neat. Uh, I think I have the enchantment, but we can sell them. Butterfly wing, good. Petty soul gem. I'll take the dagger, I guess. What, there's more? Lydia. Lydia, slow down. There's no need to go in there if we're already clear. This place, there's an inside to it. Oh! Skeleton! Oh no, it's not a skeleton, it's a necromancer. Why wasn't I doing any damage? Maybe they're immune. Oh, it was both. Okay, I thought I saw a skeleton. Oh boy. Got Lydia with that one, sorry. Oh, pressure plate. up those skeletons. Whoa! What's hurting? Oh, heard something. Whoa, a ghost! Whoa! Okay. Lydia? Lydia, what is, what's up? Are you onto something? Ah. Alrighty. Let's take a look see. Gotcha. There's another one up there. Oh. I don't think I got him. Oh, that was a horrible miss. Oh! Who just got me? Whoa! Somebody's shooting at me. Whoa! Oh, you got him? Okay, good. Man, this place is crazy. It's all crooked, weird angles, all sorts of craziness. I think that's most of them, though. Let's get out of here. 
Ooh, silver necklace. Alright, let's loot them as we go. They shouldn't have anything too heavy. Most of them were mages and skeletons. Uh, arrow. I can sell these robes and they're light, so. Garnet. Uh, I'll take, I guess I'll take the shield. Nah, I don't want the shield. I'm already kind of heavy. I don't want to bring my horse out here just for that. What's this? Conjured something up, did you? Oh, I must have raised one of its friends. Novice necromancer. Skeleton bone meal is good. We can use that for alchemy. Hmm. Take the arrows. Is that the same shield I have? Oh, it's a heavy shield. Okay, never mind. Let's say it looked like it had more armor rating. Not much here. Oh, it's, I'm getting cold. Forgot we're up north. Oof. Sorry, I'm not going to explore this place right now, but it looks pretty interesting. Um, shoot. I don't know how I'm going to mark this place. Gotta see if there's any landmarks around. I can see Miko's uh, footprints. Um, that's not where we came in from. Where did we come in from? Oh, here. I believe. Let's take this death bell. Yeah, we came in through here. I already looted that one. How am I going to mark this place? Take some of that mountain flower. Where's a uh, alley? Oh, there she is. Here, girl. Mountain flower. What's wrong? You spooked? Okay, let's go. It's gonna be alright. Might be some uh, skeletons or ne uh, necromancers crawling around in there. She might be kind of scared. Okay, hold on a second, because I'm seeing the bridge that we're supposed to cross on the road to Morthal. So give me one second. I'm just gonna mark this place on my map. I don't know what it was called. I didn't pay attention, but. I'll mark it as a place of interest, just like that, uh, um, what was it called, uh, that mage, that frost mage. Lots of stuff on this road, I didn't think the road to Morthal would be so eventful. Feels like we didn't see this much stuff from Riverwood to Whiterun, or even from Whiterun to Rorikstead. Okay, I marked it, uh, just by the bridge on the side of on the on the western side of the bridge so we should be able to find it again because I'm I'd be interested in checking that place out it's very bizarre everything's kind of broken up and full of necromancers and could be interesting especially after we get some more spells under our belt some mud crab down there Ugh. so this is the Morthal area I believe the hold is called uh, Hjalmarch we're already in Hjalmarch, technically we've been in it, but uh, now it's starting to really look distinctive. Let's go up this road. We just crossed the bridge, so Morthal should be coming up. And we're going to get cold here pretty soon. I don't think I have uh, firewood, which is an issue. What do you want? Oh! What is he doing? Frostbite spider? Oh. Oh, there are more! Got him, Miko. Is that it? Just those two? I'm on a pilgrimage to the shrine of Azura, the goddess of twilight. If you'll excuse me. Sure. You okay? Those spiders can bite you? Ugh. Frostbite Venom. I can use that, I guess, but it makes my skin crawl just being near him. Why aren't you following me, um, Allie? What's wrong? Come here. Here, girl. There you go. 
Alright, so Morthal should be nearby, I think. After you pass the bridge, the I'm map says it's just right around oh, here. Spot. Snowberries, we could take those and uh, some mountain flowers. Um, I'm not seeing it though. Some more mountain flowers. Hmm. Oh, what's over here? Oh, there it is. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, it does show that it would be on my left hand side coming from the west. I wasn't paying attention to what side it was on the map. Okay, so this must be Morthal, I'm guessing. It's pretty big. Yeah, Morthal. Great. We made it, guys. Miko, Lydia, Allie. Where's your horse, Lydia? There it is. What's going on over here? What's the Jarl going to do about it? How are we supposed to feel safe in our own homes? Please, enough already. I have told Igrid of your concerns. She'll look after you all. Please, go about your business. <laughs> We've no need for wizards in our midst. Morthal has enough problems as it is. <laughs> wizards. Ah, it's no use. Let's get back to it then. They don't like wizards? Alright, Allie, why don't you wait out here? I'm gonna take a look around town. So what's up with the... What was up with that? They don't like wizards? And they have wizards? Hey. I used to be an adventurer. Watch the skies, traveler. Oh, I can whistle at him. Huh? Whatever you say, I don't want to hear it. Until next time. How about you? Now I remember. You're the new member of the Companions. So you what? Fetch the mead? Actually, I fetched the shield and swords. Huh? It was all your fault for staring at me like that. Whatever you say. <laughs> okay. Till next time. There's a chicken here. It looks like it's getting dark. Oh yeah, that's got to be the west over there. Hmm. Ah. I have to Death wonder, bell. what does the dragonborn do once he's summoned by the greybeards? Can the Thuan be taught? Like any skill? I don't know. Hmm. Good point. It's over here. Another death bell. What is this? Looks like a broken house. Or did a dragon attack it or something? Ugh, I pity the family that lived here. They're homeless now. It's pretty destroyed. Huh. Interesting. Oh, this must be the inn? More side inn. Let's have another look around town before... Uh, I'm getting a little chilly, but before it gets too dark. Let's see what other services they might offer. It's this... Thonier's house, that's a house. Over here there's something. Oh. Ah, an alchemist. Uh, Thalmaturgus hut? Okay. Looks like this town is, um, Staying safe, I hope. sort of over water a little bit. It's over here. Guard house, okay. Good to know. Uh, good to know that there's guards around. Uh, Alvis house. These are all houses, it looks like. I'm getting hungry. Falion's house. Hmm. So this is the site of my new home, eh? I'm liking this town. I could get used to living here. It's um, right by the water. I like it. Yeah. Build my home. I don't know where they let you build your home. I'm guessing um, it's What's one thinking? particular spot. I doubt you can like pick. I just don't know it yet. <laughs> I bet I, I doubt you can like pick. So I'm guessing they just have like a plot of land uh, somewhere around the town that's not like um, occupied already, and you can just make it there. Um, but nevertheless, pretty cool. Don't mind hanging around here. 
Wayfarer has increased. Uh, do they not have any other shops? I keep my eyes open. Damn dragons could swoop down at any time. Look, you don't even know the half of it. Let me tell you, you gotta watch out for those mages too. Death bell. I like how they glow. It's kind of cool. See, I can see one right over there. Glow. There's a mill. Oh, it's like a small lumber mill town. Doesn't look like they have a general merchant or a um, smith. I was hoping they'd have a smith to practice my smithing. Jorgen and Lamy's house. And they have a I have a mill, but no smith. Hmm. Interesting. No general merchant either. Oh, maybe there's a traveling merchant uh, in the inn. Sometimes the inns have merchants. The Moor Side Inn. I love the drawing. Let's warm up a bit. Hello, Kalthar. Are you feeling sick? Lorebook, I am actually. Not feeling so great. Not at all. Uh, I feel comfortable. Hello. I guess I gotta go behind the counter to say hi to her. Uh, Welcome to the Moors. Jonah. If you need anything, I'll be around. Good to have a customer. Oh, thank you. It's very friendly. Much to offer, but if you want a place dry to spend the night, I'll rent you a room. Um. Okay. What do we have here? What's this? Is there a story behind that burned down house? Oh, the house I saw? That was burned down? Rogar's house? It burned down not too long ago. It's a real pity about his wife and kid. The screams woke half the town. Oh, God. Most folk won't go near it now for fear it's cursed. His wife and kid were in there? Dude. <laughs> That's horrible. That guy must be, like, devastated. How did the fire start? Hrogar claims it was a hearth fire. Some folks say Hrogar started it himself. What? With his own wife and child inside? That's what I was about to ask. That's what they say. Huh. See, he's living with Alva now. That started the day after the fire. Oh, you're it ain't kidding. right moving in with a new love the day after your kin die like that. Yeah. And of course they can't prove he murdered them. Aye. Our Jarl would sure like to know if he did, though. Might even pay to find out. Now you're talking my language. Laid to rest. Okay. Um. Let's go talk to the Jarl of Morthal. Mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll be back. I'm curious about this. So it sounds like the guy burned his house down with his wife and child so that he could go live with some Alva woman. Oh, we saw her house. Alva's house. It was right over here. Huh. What, what in the world? Dragons? When did that get there? How did this get to here? Oh, I have to loot it. Yuck. Move that thing out of there. This is the High Moon Hall. I thought this looked like the uh, Yarl place. It's the biggest house in town. <laughs> Let's see. What's the story behind this? Hello? Asselfur? The woman Jarl. Jarl Itgrod Ravencrone. Well, hello there. Nice to meet you. I am Tristane of High Rock. So, life has brought you to Morthal and to me. What purpose this serves, we will no doubt see. Welcome. Hmm. She's got an intriguing personality. I like that introduction. Um. <laughs> I hear you want someone to look into that house fire. Rogar's house fire? Well, he lost his wife and daughter in the blaze. My people believe it to be cursed now. Who am I to gainsay them? What does Rogar say happened? Rogar blames his wife for spilling bear fat in the fire. Many folk think he set the fire himself. Why would he do that to his own family? Lust can make a man do the unthinkable. Hmm. The ashes were still warm when he pledged himself to Alpha. That's horrible. So why haven't you arrested him? On rumor and gossip? No. But you, a stranger, might find the truth for us. 
Sift through the ashes that others are too fearful to touch. See what they tell you. Should you prove him guilty or innocent, I will reward you. Interesting. So I don't even have to prove him guilty. <laughs> uh, investigate the burnt house. Oh, okay. I already did that, though. There wasn't anything over there. Is, in your uh, is there anything else I can do? Hello. Yeah? Gorm. You will not disrespect Jarl Idgrad while in this hall. Oh, no, I... Do we have an understanding? Oh, are you talking about my stomach growling? I, I didn't mean to disrespect her. <coughs> Why would I? It's no secret that Jarl Idgrad is... different. It's also no secret that there are rumors about her and her... visions. Visions? I won't repeat them. And I won't allow them to be spread under this roof. Now you go about your business. Okay. Uh, oh, I can whistle mm -hmm. at you. Mm hmm? Huh? <laughs> I'm getting better. Maybe I should just wipe that smile off your face. No need to get rough. <laughs> what? <Bye. laughs> like threatening the guy. Um, hello, Asselfer. If you business with the Jarl, I'd ask that you speak to me first. Oh, sorry, I already went to talk to the Jarl. Oh, you were the guy um, talking to the people outside. What was that argument about? Ah, you saw that, did you? Life in Morthal has been troubled lately. The people are uncertain, restless, and merely look to the Jarl for leadership. Hmm. What's going on? Uh, what's going wrong in Morthal? There's news of rebellion against the Empire. Strange noises have been heard in the marshes at night. Oh, that's creepy. And then, the tragedy with Rogar's home. Mm -hmm. The men simply seek wisdom. Everything will be fine. Strange noises in the marshes at night. Yeah, those marshes did look kind of creepy, but I wouldn't want to wander around them at night. Uh, Morthal seems like a quiet town. That's what many here wanted. A quiet life in a quiet place, without the noise or the trouble of a city. Now some worry this wizard, Falion, will foul it all up. Falion? He's the wizard that they were talking about outside? I saw his house. It's whistling. Uh -huh. I'm getting way better. I think I'm getting better at this. It would seem so. Until next time. Oh, Jarl's gone. Okay. Well, let's um. Hey, you. The Legion's always looking for strong, capable warriors. Ah, an Imperial you Legion. You think you've soldier. got what it takes? Our headquarters is in solitude. Legate Tarinus Duilus. Duilus. I just want to whistle. I'll talk to him later. It's getting late. Uh -huh. <laughs> that was a good whistle, wasn't it? Nah, I don't think so. No. I'll take my leave then. Alright, let's go back to the inn. Um, oh, let me read my quest log. I want to see what. Mm, quest. Uh, Morthal's Jarl has asked me to investigate the house fire that killed Hrogar's Ho wife and child. Hrogar took Alva as a lover immediately after the fire, and many in town think he did it. Investigate the burnt house. Fear I guess I have to go see it again. Because the werewolves and vampires don't. Damn and vampires. storm cloak rebels. Oh no, not now. You're kidding. Oh, we gotta move it out of the town. It could hurt the townspeople. And I'm hungry and thirsty and tired. Not good. It's another frosty though. At least we got that. Yeah. Gotta keep it away from the townsfolk. Can't see it. I think it was perched up somewhere. Whoa, where is it? I really can't see it. Oh, there it is. Gotcha. Is it flying? Oh, it landed somewhere. But where? You, do you know where it is? Whoa! It's not coming from the dragon though, it's just... It's gotta be around here somewhere, but where?
can't see a thing, and the marshes are supposed to be dangerous at night. breathing fire in the sky. Vampires brace in the I think it may have been over here. Miko was running from this direction. Oh, there it is. Looks like they didn't need me much. Hey, Lydia, are you around? Good. Ooh. Give these to Lydia. Uh, I hope nobody got hurt. I really do. I'm gonna have to check in the morning, make sure everybody's alive. Um. Where is it? There it is. I'm at your command. What was I doing? Oh, giving her the dragon mark. <laughs> Completely blanked out. Oh, and this stuff. Um, I don't need to give her that stuff. Just enough so I can run. I'll give the rest to um Allie in the morning. You lead, I'll follow. Hey by the gods. I don't even know what to say. Whistle whistle. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, I need more practice. You've done well. Done well? You mean I can finally able to whistle for my horse? Of course. Thanks, that's awesome. <laughs> Take care. <laughs> <laughs> That's a f uh, funny dialogue. Alright, well we killed the dragon. Well, <laughs> I use the term we loosely. The guards killed the dragon. Everything's all right. Yeah, I think so. I hope nobody's dead. Probably everybody's asleep, but... Um, why don't you wait out here, Miko? I don't want the inn to give us any trouble for having you inside. Should be warm here by the um, light. Okay. Lydia, come on. Let me relax Still for a here. while. I know I'm w I know I will. Oh, time to get some dinner. I hope. Oh, yeah. My uh, stomach is going off there. <coughs> Where's Jonah? Hmm. Knock, knock. Not here. Um, are you watching her sleep? Hello, Jonah. I hear the steward asked you to look into the fire. Yeah. Oh, you probably don't want to get out of that side. That's gonna be right, bad then. for you. <laughs> okay. Um. Hey, she's kind of pretty. Hello. Oh, you're Alva. Well, aren't you the handsome one? Thank you. You and I should spend some time together. You think so? The people here work so hard, and they never allow themselves a moment of fun. It's such a pity. It won't last forever, though. That's kind of morbid. Well, I can see why uh, Hrogar left his wife for her. But did he really have to kill her? They say Hrogar burned down his house for you. Do they? How delightful. I'm lucky to have a man that is so devoted to me. All right then. That's kind of creepy. Where's Jonah? Is she gone? Did she go through the uh, wall there? That's not good. Oh, hello, Lydia. Um, I think she's gone. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, she's here. No. Nope. I got distracted by Alva and I don't know where Jonah is. Long life to you, Fane. Shoot, wait, there's somebody sleeping there. That's Calthar. Let's go outside and come back in. Hopefully that'll fix Jonah up. Oh, what? Oh, gods! I fell in the water! Oh. What is... There's dogs everywhere! What in the world? a vampire oh no there's a vampire this guy's taking them on all right let me help him um
Morthal used to be a quiet place, but then the world used to make sense. Whew, you must be a great warrior, Vanor. Death Hounds. He killed that vampire all by himself. And pretty much the Death Hounds as well. Jeez. Oh, there's a steel bolt, so I guess somebody else hit him too. But still, he must be pretty strong. Steel katana. Vampire armor and some vampire dust. Man, I gotta stop going outside here. Every time I go outside, um, something horrible happens. Let's go back inside and just try to get some sleep. Hopefully Jonah will be alright. <laughs> This town has a lot of problems. Maybe I shouldn't get a house here. I go outside, there's dragons, vampires, um, some guy that burns his house down with his wife and child. This town is disturbed. Where's Lydia? I need to give her you. I need to give you something, Lydia. Honored to see you. Time to go. Still here. Let's see. I am sworn to carry your burdens. Here, just take that until I'll, tomorrow morning. Let's get going then. Where is Jonah? This is not cool. I think she got stuck behind that wall. These people are like cattle. All they do is work, sleep, and eat. Why, good evening. What can I get you? Home? Oh, she's talking to Jonah. What can't you get me, sweetie? Eat? No, I don't think I'm hungry. Not now, at least. What the hell is going on? <laughs> she is so creepy. Um, I think Joan is behind this wall, but I don't know how to get her out. I'll be right back. I'm gonna look online and see if I can find a solution to this. All right. Uh, sorry about that. I finally got Jonah unstuck. I rent I ended up renting a room from her and after a little bit she moved out of the bed, but I had to load um from the time before I fought the vampire outside. So I killed the dragon but not the vampire. Uh and apparently that fixed it. So that's too bad. But oh well. So I wanted there to buy some dinner offer, as well. But if you want a place dry to spend let's sate that appetite, hmm? Please. Ooh, cooked beef. But we have beef. Well, we've got a uh, horse and venison, to be more specific. <laughs> I'll take some salt piles. And... Hmm. I'll take some milk. Thank you. Alright, so yep. let's have some dinner. There's Alva. I believe I didn't see The speak. people here work so hard, and they never allow themselves a moment of fun. It's such a... Yeah. D I'm lucky well, we already to talked to her. That is so devoted to me. Okay. <coughs> so let's have some food, shall we? Let's have that horse haunch, the last one. And... Some water ought to do. And get some sleep. And our room is actually the one that she was sleeping in. <laughs> so let's hope we don't get stuck in there. Oh yeah, they have two fires here. That's nice. It's nice and warm. An orc bard. We don't see that very often. Lydia, we you can out? relax now. Um, let's see. There you go. So let's get some sleep, because we just fought a dragon, and that pretty much drained me. So, yeah, it's midnight, too. Let's get a good ten hours. And in the morning, we'll go check out that house, that burned house. Um, I guess maybe there's some bit of evidence or something we can gather. I'm hungry, so let's have some breakfast. Sit over Are you here. Sick? I am actually. Um, I wanted to take off my 
gear a little bit. Where's my helmet? There we go. Get a little more comfortable. Kalthar, what's your story, eh? What do you need? Ah, you're a general goods merchant. Take a look. It's nice to see you, then. Bone Break Fever Compendium. Hmm. I've got some stuff for you that I wouldn't mind getting rid of. Let's see here. Uh, Iron Saber. I'm going to keep that sword. Try to disenchant it. Kanto. We don't need both daggers. We can sell one. Uh, sell these steel daggers. I guess that's it for the weapons. What about armor? Bandit Iron Heavy Shield. You can sell those. That one I can sell for sure. And I'll sell that. Fur Helmet. There we go. Gold Necklace I can sell. Hide Bracers. we got a ton. Allie has a bunch more stuff outside too. We're going to come back here. Uh, leather Bracers. Yeah, Necromancer Robes. Yeah, I'm going to sell that ring. I don't need it right now. Nice. Silver necklace, steel heavy shield, Viking armor. You can sell all that stuff. Alright, that lightens me up a bit too. He doesn't have much gold left. I guess we'll have to check up on him in a few days. See if he gets some more gold. I would put on my belt of tunic since I'm in town, but this town seems dangerous and it's cold, so I'm going to keep my fur on. And uh, let me see if I can sell you that. Yep. That's good. We got a good uh, amount of money there. Almost 2,000. Almost made up for what um, what Allie cost us. And she still has a ton more loot to sell. So told you guys she'd be a good investment. Um, cool. Mm -hmm. Let's have some breakfast. Now that we've talked business. Get some milk. And don't really have any breakfast food except that gourd, but I don't know if I want to eat that. Do you have any food? Yes. Take a look. Some honey. I'll take that for breakfast. It's mm. pretty good. Where's Jonah? There she is. Good. <coughs> Not getting stuck around, huh? Into the fire. Uh, let me see here. What have you got for sale? Let's sate that appetite. Hmm? Mm, same stuff as before. Man, it feels like nobody's been selling bread lately. All right then. Hmm. Well, guess we'll wait for lunch. All right, let's have that honey at least. Um. All right, so where's Lydia? Honored to see you again, my. Let's go check out that house. I would go alone, but. We heading out? As you will, my Thane. I, I don't want to run into another dragon. <laughs> this town is not da uh, safe. I ended up loading um, and not being able to fight the vampire, or I loaded before I fought the vampire and I didn't go back outside. But vampires, dragons crazy stuff in this town. So I think this is a good spot to leave it. Um, I hope you guys liked this episode and if you did hit the like button. Also check out my channel and subscribe and leave me comments and feedback. I would love to hear from you guys. And as always, thanks for watching.